how do you set up Google Groups for quick access once you're logged in to your Google account? Start by installing Google Chrome. If you don't have Chrome set up, go to your Explorer and install it. The icon for Chrome uh, looks like this, so we're going to click on it. We'll open up. So the first thing you have to do is sign in to your browser. We go down here, click sign in to Chrome. And we're going to type our Gmail account. Now mind you, if your administrator changes the password every so often, you're going to have to go and change this uh, when that happens. In our case, it's every three or four months we have to change this. So every three or four months I have to log in, After, otherwise I don't have to bother. You're going to link your data, that's important. Okay, you're signed into Chrome. So any apps that you've added through the Google Chrome Web Store will show up here and or here. I'll just click on as you can see it. These are apps, these are actually the extensions. So I'm going to just click on these so that they shut down. They're still there. All right, so I'm going to click on the Omni box here. Click on the Gmail icon, for example. I'll notice that my Gmail will open. So here it is. That's my Gmail. Um, I would like to go get my Google Group. Same thing. Click on the Omni box, click on Google Groups. Now that's inconvenient to do it every time, so I want to go get, um, in our case at our school, we have to go get the emails every day almost on what are people posting to the general group. So if I don't want to bother logging in every single time, it's um, you know a bit of trouble, a bit of time. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is right click, pin tab. Same thing with this, I'm going to pin this tab. And anything else that I find important. How do I open a new tab? If you look right here, there's this little transparent uh, um, form, click on it. It'll open and I'm going to click Google Drive now. So I, those are the three things I open almost every day and uh, I have it set up this way. So if I want this to be there, I need to pin it. Okay, so those are the first three things. Now, in our case, our Google administrator set it up so that passwords don't work um, in a way that uh, this would work. If I close this down and open it right now, I'm gonna have to re-log in. There's a little bit of a workaround and you have to set up a second account on your Google, um, on your Chrome, I apologize, on your Chrome browser. So what you do is you click on the three lines here, go down the settings, and add a secondary browser. There's already one here. I'm gonna delete that one because I don't know who it is. It's my computer, by the way. I'm gonna add a new user, and uh, pick that icon, and I'm gonna log in to that secondary account. If this is your own personal computer. You may not have to do this, but Sometimes the um, corporate or school computers, etc., don't work the same way because of settings. But I have a feeling that you're going to have to do this either way because of the settings that uh, yeah, I'm going to sync all this again. I'm going to close this one. You'll notice at the bottom that they're both there. All right. Uh, one caution I would say is I would not do this on a computer that's accessed publicly. So in a sense, if it's if it's a computer that, let's pretend, all teachers could access, for example, that would be perfect. You could do that. You don't really have to be concerned. But if you are concerned that people will go into your files, etc., I would not do this. Okay, I'm going to just close this one. It's adding all the add-ons here. And uh, so here we are. I'm going to close this now. So I'll click on the X. All right. And I'm going to click and open it again. And we're going to look at the top here to see what happens. So I'm logged into my Google Groups. Awesome. I'm logged into my Gmail. I'm logged into my Google Drive. And there you have it. How do you set it up so that your Google Chrome logs into uh, your Google Groups rapidly in your Gmail and or even your Google Drive? Thank you very much. This is Mark Dubo. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment. and. Uh, also, if you have a chance, please subscribe to my blog. I'll be posting uh, several other updates uh, of this nature. Thank you.